Now, plasma. What is plasma? You know that plasma is an ionized gas. There is positively charged particles and negatively charged electrons. Now, in this chapter, we will learn about what will happen when the charged particle is moving in first of all magnetic field, then electromagnetic field. So, the question is charged particle is moving in magnetic field, then find the Larmor radius, its cyclotron frequency, and its moment of inertia. Whenever particle is moving in the charged particle is moving in magnetic field. Okay, then find its Larmor radius, its cyclotron frequency, okay, and moment of inertia. Let us start. Now, suppose magnetic field, okay, it is from it is horizontal. I mean from left hand side to right hand side, like this. This is magnetic field, this is magnetic field, this is magnetic field from left hand side to right hand side. And particle is entered in this type of a magnetic field. Magnetic field is parallel to plane of paper. And your particle is entering inside it. What will happen? V is the velocity. You can see V is the velocity of the charged particle. E is the charge of the particle. And B is the applied magnetic field. Now what will happen? When the charged particle is entered in this type of magnetic field B, force will be exerted on the particle. What is the value of force? The value of force means m into a. V dot means m into dv by dt. Okay, m dv by dt equal to E V cross B. This type of force will be exerted on the charged particle. When the charged particle is entered in the magnetic field B, V is the velocity, with the velocity V and with the charge E, the force m into a. V dot means dv by dt m into a f equal to e v cross b equation number one. Now, we will consider two components of velocity. Okay. Suppose your magnetic field is parallel to plane of paper like this from left hand side to right hand side. Okay. Now, this velocity has two component. This velocity is have two component. And, okay. We parallel and we perpendicular. V parallel and V perpendicular. Parallel means V is parallel. V parallel component is parallel to that of magnetic field. I mean this type. M left hand side to right hand side. V perpendicular means the velocity of the charged particle is perpendicular to plane of paper. Is perpendicular to plane of paper. So we have two components. When the charged particle is entering with velocity V of magnetic field V. Okay, then we have two components like this V equal to V parallel and V perpendicular. So, here force equal to E V cross B. These, these are the two components. Now, you consider first case V equal to V parallel. What will for V parallel V cross B equal to 0? V cross B means V B sin theta, V B sin 90. Okay, but V parallel is parallel to parallel to magnetic field B. Okay, so sin 0 equal to 0, sin 0 equal to 0. That means whenever charged particle is moving with parallel component of velocity inside the magnetic field, okay, V parallel B equal to 0, then magnetic force exerted on the charged particle will be equal to 0. That means M dV by dt parallel, V dot means acceleration component, M dv by dt, I mean v dot parallel equal to 0 because this component will be equal to 0. This term will be equal to 0. Okay. That means dv by dt equal to 0. Okay. That means v parallel is equal to constant. So, what is the conclusion? When your magnetic field is parallel to the plane of paper, okay, and your velocity also parallel to this magnetic field, no force exerted on the charged particle and our particle, this charged particle have no force and it will be moved 
from left hand side to right hand side along the magnetic field with constant velocity with constant linear velocity i mean v parallel equal to constant that means one m is the mass of the particle that means one half mv square equal to kinetic energy parallel component of the kinetic energy will also remain constant because v parallel also equal to constant so in this way when a charged particle move with parallel component of magnetic field in a magnetic field no force exerted on the charged particle okay then its kinetic energy will remain constant its kinetic energy will remain constant now again for perpendicular component of velocity what will happen when the electric field is parallel to sorry when the magnetic field is parallel to plane of paper and our charged wave particle is entering inside the paper i mean it is perpendicular to the magnetic field that this perpendicular component that means we perpendicular cross b we perpendicular cross b okay then we v b sin 90 sin 90 equal to 1 that means this will be not equal to 0 that means here m will be in the denominator dv by dt okay i mean e by m v perpendicular cross b i mean acceleration of a charged particle equal to from this equation v equal to v perpendicular okay this is perpendicular component of a acceleration acceleration perpendicular equal to e by m v cross b now you can see this one is the equation of a circle why it is so because in a circle suppose in a circle okay the centripetal force is toward the center and the tangent represent represent the velocity tangent represent the velocity i mean a equal to b cross c b is perpendicular to a c is also perpendicular to a that means this will be perpendicular to this this will be perpendicular to this also that means you find a equation of motion such that acceleration is perpendicular to velocity suppose you have a equation a equal to b cross c this component is perpendicular this component of perpendicular this is acceleration is perpendicular to the velocity so in this way when any charged particle okay entering in the magnetic field with perpendicular velocity or perpendicular to the magnetic field what will happen both we perpendicular and we perpendicular dot i mean acceleration and velocity are perpendicular to each other and particle exit is circular motion why it is so in a circular motion both v and v perpendicular always perpendicular to each other okay so this execute per uh, circular motion again one half m v perpendicular square also a, a constant quantity because particle is moving along the circle with constant speed so wt i mean this also a this is also kinetic energy one half m v perpendicular square also a constant quantity that means total kinetic energy i mean ke parallel plus ke perpendicular also remain constant means total kinetic energy of a charged particle moving in magnetic field also a constant so this is a conservation of kinetic energy conservation of kinetic energy when a charged particle is entering in a magnetic field okay now let us see here when a charged particle is entering perpendicular to the magnetic field okay e v cross b v sin 90 sin 90 equal to 1 okay because v perpendicular is perpendicular to b okay centripetal force will be provided to this charged particle due to this magnetic field mv square by r instead of r let me write r l l means larmer radius this radius is called larmer radius after the name of the scientist okay so mv square by r e v cross b this will be cancelled okay now rl what is rl rl is called radius of gyration radius of gyration or radius of circulation 
of a charged particle when charged particle is moving in a magnetic field with perpendicular component of velocity in a magnetic field so in this way we have derived the equation of larmer radius when a charged particle is moving in a magnetic field okay so this type of larmer radius so particle is entering in a magnetic field the motion of the charged particle is circular motion of the charged particle is circular like this okay now from the center the radius is called rl rl means larmer radius larmer radius for larmer radius we can say that n is proportional to rl mass of a charged particle is proportional to larmer radius or radius of a circle okay now mi is greater than me mi is greater than e mass of the ion is greater than the mass of electron that means rli is greater than rle that means when a, an electron is enter in a magnetic field this larmer radius is smaller than when an ion is enter in a magnetic field is larmer radius is greater than that of the electron you see we have proved rli is greater than rle okay because why it is so m is proportional to rl m is proportional to rl similarly you can see v divided by rl v divided by rl eb is here and m is here okay so this have this have the mks unit is of the radian per second i mean cyclotron frequency okay v is meter per second divided by meter equal to per second equal to per second so omega c it is called omega c it is called cyclotron frequency it is called cyclotron frequency of the charged particle moving in magnetic field when a charged particle is moving in magnetic field the cyclotron frequency is represented by omega c why it is so because rl sorry v perpendicular divided by rl e b comes in denominator m comes in num num numerator and this have a dimension of meter per second divided by meter total dimension will be per second per second is the dimension of cyclotron frequency it is called e b by m now again let me say when a charged particle i mean electron is entering in magnetic field okay electron is moving faster than that of the ions electron is moving faster than that of the ions that means omega c e is greater than omega c i on the contrary r l i is greater than r l e the radius of gyration परिभ्रमण की जो त्रिज्या होती है रेडियस ऑफ जायरेशन ऑफ आयन इज ग्रेटर देन इलेक्ट्रॉन बट हियर साइक्लोट्रॉन फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन इज ग्रेटर देन साइक्लोट्रॉन फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द आयन बिकॉज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर लाइटर देन द आयन वो ज्यादा जल्दी से मूव कर सकते हैं इस तरह से सर्क्यूलर ज्यादा इस तरह से मूव कर सकते हैं so i omega c e is greater than omega c i so when the but particle have both velocity a particle to aisa nahi kahega ki mera sirf parallel velocity hai mera sirf perpendicular velocity hai particle have both type of velocity both type of any angle particle is entering magnetic field with any angle suppose you can see this one is magnetic field this one is magnetic field पार्टिकल इज एंटरिंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन कोई भी डायरेक्शन में एंटर हो, हो सकता है ये बी से तो इसका दो कॉम्पोनेट होता है वी पैरल एंड वी परपेंडिकुलर दिस वन इज द बी दिस वन इज एनी डायरेक्शन एंटरिंग इन टू द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ओके सो वी हैव टू कॉम्पोनेंट वी पैरल एंड वी परपेंडिकुलर वी पैरल क्या देता है यू कैन से वी पैरल गिव आस द लीनियर मोशन पार्टिकल will move along the direction of magnetic field with linear motion so here linear motion ye ye is side mein velocity we parallel hai ye okay ye kya hai perpendicular hai perpendicular kaun si motion deta hai we parallel gives us linear 
or straight motion and we perpendicular give us which type of motion circular motion because a equal to b cross c this will be parallel to this this will be parallel to this acceleration is parallel to the velocity acceleration always remain to the uh, perpendicular into the velocity in a circular motion so v perpendicular give a circuit, uh, per, uh, 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 circular motion so here is a two type of motion will be combined when a particle enter in a magnetic field with velocity v two type velocity will be combined linear motion and perpendicular motion linear and perpendicular linear plus perpendicular equal to helix equal to spiral so is tarah se ye spiral motion humko milenge ye magnetic field hai aur particle suppose i ne is tarah se hmm hmm boom is tarah se okay okay is tarah se ye motion karega so in this way when particle charged particle moving with velocity v in only magnetic field is motion is helix or spiral and this one is called guiding center ye yahan guiding center hai यहाँ गाइडिंग सेंटर है यहाँ गाइडिंग सेंटर है यहाँ गाइडिंग सेंटर है ये सब उसका गाइडिंग सेंटर रहता है ओके सो दिस आर दिस आर इज गाइडिंग सेंटर दिस आर इज गाइडिंग सेंटर एंड यू कैन सी व्हेन द पार्टिकल इज मूविंग अलॉन्ग दिस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ओके सेंटर ऑफ गाइडिंग सेंटर गाइडिंग सेंटर में सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल इट विल बी शिफ्टेड हियर फर्स्ट देन आफ्टर हियर देन आफ्टर हियर देन आफ्टर हियर एंड देन आफ्टर हियर The guiding center also moving along the axis B. I mean applied magnetic field B. We can see from this. So you can see the radius of gyration R L R L I is greater than R L E. ये इलेक्ट्रॉन है. इलेक्ट्रॉन की देखो स्पाइरल है ना R E मैंने कम ड्रॉ की है देखो. Radius is very small. R L E is smaller than R L I. You can see here, okay? Or the ion ka paribraman hai, the electron ka paribraman. But you can see this one is the anti-clockwise. So this one is the clockwise, and this one is the anti-clockwise because charge charge of the electron is opposite to that of the ion. So my dear friends, in this question we have find out the equation of Larmor radius and cyclotron of frequency of the of the charged particle may be ion or electron when entering with the velocity v in a magnetic field b like this now let me say omega equal to twice pi f omega equal to twice pi f place the value of eb by m so new c linear cyclotron frequency eb equal to twice pi m and new c equal to 1 upon tau c 1 upon tau c suppose Value of v equal to five meter per second. M mass of the electron is given. E charge of electron v equal to one tesla. What is the R L? You can calculate the value of R L with type of the given data. Similarly, E B M also given in example. Okay, you can find out the cyclotron frequency in a numerical. Okay. So nu c equal to one upon tau c. One upon tau c equal to e b by m. Now, again, we want to calculate the magnetic moment mu equal to i cross a. Magnetic moment mu equal to i cross a. I means current. When a charged particle is moving, the current will be produced. Current will be produced, and a is the area enclosed by the surface. Okay. So magnetic moment mu equal to I cross A. So I equal to charge divided by time. Charge divided by time. A equal to pi R L square. A equal to pi R L square. Now place the value of one upon tau C in R L. R L. R L square m square v square e square b square and one upon tau C. One upon tau C equal to E B plus pi M. Placing this value in this equation, we have mu equal to one half m v perpendicular square divided by b. The magnetic moment of the charged particle is one half m v perpendicular square divided by b. This one equal to kinetic energy 
perpendicular component of kinetic energy. So, magnetic moment mu equal to perpendicular component of kinetic energy divided by B. But this one is the, this one is which type of quantity? Vector quantity. Okay. So, B is like this. Mu is a vector. B is a vector. So, mu is in the direction of applied magnetic field. Mu is in the direction of applied magnetic field. B0, it is in the direction of B0, it is in the direction of which? Yes, it is in the direction of B and mu is direction of B. So, in this way, mu perpendicular equal to mu times B. 